Well, Old Trafford for the review. Absolutely sensational game today. India versus New Zealand. New Zealand triumphing. Join us for the review. Well, a very warm welcome to Old Trafford. Day two of this ODI. New Zealand triumphing. 239 for eight. India in reply. 2-2-1. Two, two, it's been a wonderful day's cricket. New Zealand triumphing by 18 runs. They'll be at Lords on Sunday. Who will they play? We do not know. It's a full house. Who have I got? Sanjay, Smithy, Balti, Maddie Henry. Boys, fantastic. How was that? Yeah, it was pretty special, obviously, um, <laughs> to come away with... Uh, being on the right side of the wind there was um, pretty special. Balti, <laughs> we all anticipated this left arm in swing to Sharma, Vera Kohli. You got your man in Kohli again, didn't you? Yeah, my mate here got the other two at the top there, and um, yeah, I was left to get Vera. At, so uh, obviously emotional time seeing the review, and then obviously seeing it just clipping was uh, yeah pretty uh, ecstatic little uh, huddle there, and it was uh, yeah nice to to see them three down inside their first 10 now overs. Smithy, you're very reserved there. You're just a little grin there. Come on, give us something. Just getting the heart back, heart rate back down. <laughs> I think it's just down under the three figures now, but that's fine. Hey, come on, you guys. Just give us a little bit of emotion here. You lay in bed last night thinking if we could get in the uh, two for 30 and those two big boys were out, that'd be all right. Three for five? Three for five? You didn't plan that, come on. Yeah, no, we didn't plan that, did we? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Um, no, I wasn't texting Matt last night, but yeah, it's a, it's a dream start in our opinion. Um, but hey, we knew they were a classy, classy lineup, definitely. Um, you know, they, uh, they batted extremely deep, and I think a lot of credit to, to Dhoni, the average Jadeja. What's that? What's I don't know what signal? it is. What's that signal? Come on. It looks like I'm fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you might go oh, fishing tomorrow. I got, I got oh. news for you. You're not fishing this weekend. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, cameras don't miss anything around here. Oh, wow. Let's have a look at some of these wickets, fellas. And Sanjay, you might also talk us through some of the, maybe the technical flaws. Or was it wonderful no, 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 bowling? No, no, let the bowlers talk about this one. Trent, come on. Yeah, LBW. <laughs> <laughs> was he focusing a little too much on that outside the awesome line and he sneaked in one that came back in? This was another big one. Yeah, hey, I was trying to touch on before. The way they kind of soaked up the pressure and, and uh, took it deep like they did. Um, yeah, they're arguably uh, two of the best finishers in the game. So whatever the equation was, we knew we had our work cut out for us. But I think Kane chopped the bowlers nicely. Mm. Um, different pressure from each ends, and it was nice to see one go up. And obviously to, to see it uh, hung on, it was um, yeah, good feeling. Good one to Rohit. Yeah, obviously uh, to have a start like that's uh, pretty special. I think we, we knew that we'd uh, hit our straps in ball one really, um, and I suppose like Trent said, we weren't expecting to have a start like that. But um, yeah. Uh, obviously, to get in that situation, get the wickets, and then try to control the flow of runs. Eh? So, and yeah, I think that's yo, Jimmy, a, I think yo, yeah. Jimmy a bit here. Yeah? That so was absolutely what? unbelievable. If he was down here on the mic, he'd say that's regulation, yeah. so don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, dropped, he dropped the regulation on later on, Jimmy, yeah. didn't he? Yeah, I'll give him that later. Yeah. I think one of the bowl. most amazing things about today's performance by New Zealand is they promoted you up to number 10. What was that all about? Oh, gee. <laughs> I don't know what that says, but it sounds like I've been working hard on my batting. <laughs> <laughs> I was impressed with the running between the wicket. I thought there was a lot of fervour in the way you ran. Three not out, World Cup game, I'm happy. <laughs> oh, the other thing, I've got, to, I've got to ask you about this because we're, we've all been living this along with Martin Guptill and the miseries of not being able to buy a run. The big moment, the big oh. moment, yeah, you, you wouldn't bet against him, eh? The run out? No, hey, yeah, that was that was crucial. Um, direct hits are always close and it was nice uh, to see him just fractionally out. But uh, big moment because, uh, like I touched on, anything can happen with that man at the crease and, uh, yeah, it was nice to see the back of him. Hey, are you super... Uh, can you go back four years that night at Eden Park? More excited now. More excited now. This is the run out. This is the guppy bit. Unbelievable yeah, direct hit. Had to be. Had to be. Yep. So, you know, you knew we'd have a say at some point. But are you now, right now, as we stand here, are you more excited or more level headed about what's coming up? Oh, I think. It's We're left, compare, Trent. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to compare the two. I mean, obviously, a World Cup final is a, a World Cup final. And obviously, to be at the MCG uh, four years ago and now to have the opportunity to to go to the home of cricket and have a World Cup final. Um, yeah, it's a pretty special feeling and I'm sure it'll uh, take a wee while to sink in. Who would, who would you like to play, Matt? <laughs> great question, Trent. Uh, look, it's a, that's a tough one. I think it's going to be a great game to watch. <laughs> Australia, um, they've been playing some seriously good cricket, but England at home as well. I mean, they know the conditions well, so it's going to be a really tough fight. Just finally, they, they say you have to lose one before you know how to win one. Yeah. Yeah, any truth in that? 
please. Yeah, hey, please, no, uh, hopefully, Ian, you yeah, you're the commentator, so you know everything. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, hopefully they, they smashed us last time. So, yeah, let's and see what do, happens. Uh, do you want to share some of the spotlight? You guys are uh, seeing bowlers. Mitchell Santner, a couple of huge wickets. Mate. Punt at the time, Hardik Pandey as well. He's been unbelievable. Yep. Um, obviously, his economy was going at one and over for about six, yep. seven overs. So, we knew that after getting those early breakthroughs, it was a matter of squeezing runs, and if we could squeeze the runs, then hopefully the wickets would come. But Satna, the way he bowled was, was mm. unbelievable. That was just world class. Brilliant. Brilliant. Gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. Absolute you so sensation much, yeah. for all our viewers at home to have the access. Wonderful. Enjoy your evening. Thanks if you much. get a bit of fishing in, good luck. <laughs> yeah. But good luck on Sunday. We'll see you in Lords. <laughs> right, thank thank you, you, chaps. Bye. Cheers, boys. Yeah. Cheers, boys. Well, what a thank pleasure. You. Cheers, ladies. All the best. Thanks, Thanks for your time. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> what an absolute pleasure, gentlemen. Yeah. Well, well, Give us the mic, <laughs> Take the mic. We're going to have a look through these wickets. Yep. Well, what access? What access to two absolute yep. champion bowlers? And they were brilliant today, Stan. Did you see the Yeah, see, the worst nightmare for India came true today. You know, they've been fearing this start of the tournament, through the tournament. What if Virat and Rohit get out early? And that happened today. Yeah, it was. But you have to... You see, in that situation of 240, there's no real credit in terms of what you can give away. Yeah. You have to be right on the money from the outset. India none for 30 after six, yeah. game over. You know, with the power that they had. Yeah. It had to happen. It had to happen that way. Otherwise, it was just not going to be. Then we saw the young guys come in. I think they lost their heads at, at, at the wrong time. Which is to be expected. I mean, these are guys who are just a couple of years into international cricket. I believe, you know, the work had to be done by the top order yeah. and not so much by Virat Kohli. He's been getting runs every innings. Rohit Sharma, 500s already. What about the other senior players who are supposed to be in their prime? People like Lokesh Rahul, 100 in the last game, should have carried the form. Dinesh Karthik has been there forever. I mean, after that, thanks to Jadeja, the match got closed, but India lost it in the first 15 overs, I thought. Jadeja was wonderful, but just left too much to do, Smithy. He played so well, but just too much to do. From the top order failing. Uh, yeah, uh, they did, but you know, I think while they were there as a partnership, both of them, I thought they believed Jadeja and Dhoni. Yeah. They were working so closely, they were communicating after almost every ball. I think they were thinking, we'll do this, you and I will do it. The only problem was, if one of them got out, could someone come out and help? Mm. And that is where, you know, we get an interesting sort of data all the time while the run chase was on, and we get emotionally involved. Sometimes our opinions get a little coloured by mm. emotions. The indicator right at the bottom of the screen had New Zealand winning all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We thought Jadeja Dhoni, they have done it before and who knows, another wonderful partnership coming together. But clinical analysis of data was telling us that New Zealand always had their noses in front. Mm -hmm. Sanji, unbelievable to think, three, four, five weeks ago, Jadeja wasn't in this India side. Yeah. When he bowls, he's brilliant, economical, picks up wicks, saves 10 runs every game in the field and his batting today was smashing. Absolutely. Bits... And by pieces, he just ripped me apart today. Oh, <laughs> yes. By bits and by pieces of sheer brilliance, just proved me wrong on all fronts. But this is Hardik, uh, uh, beg your pardon, Ravindra Jadeja that we've not seen very often. In the last 40 innings, the highest score has been around 33. Hmm. Today, he was brilliant. Economical with the ball and that, that familiar... Uh, you know, celebration that you see more in <laughs> test matches, Smithy. Yeah, but then he was looking upstairs. Who was he looking at there? Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. You know, I'm, uh, forgive me, I wasn't there. You know? I, mean, <laughs> I, I, I mean, I have to apologize. He was looking for me, star of today, looking for me. I wasn't there. I was in the lounge uh, eating my lunch. You've I'm been so around sorry. a long time, boy. You know when to go. <laughs> Gentlemen, there was a little bit of romance in the air as the game kind of got to the back end and we thought, can Emma Stoney have one more fairy tale innings? Can he win one more big game from India? He nearly did. Yeah, nearly did in his uh, very unique style. And somewhere people might be thinking that put more pressure on Jadija to keep going and some Do of the risks. Do you agree with that? I agree with that yeah. because he had to uh, go for the big shots on occasion. Dhoni wasn't going for it as much. So had Dhoni up the ante a little bit, a strike rate of 80 while building the partnership yeah. would have made Jadija's job easier. But this is what you get with Dhoni. The Indian team knew about it. In the end, it was Jadja who had to win it. And this is a very unusual end mm. for Dhoni being run out. I mean, run outs are very rare for him. He doesn't dive or lunge in. Guptil did it. What about that, Smithy? How important is that run out from Martin Guptil's psyche? 
had a poor tournament with the bat, one more crack at it at Lords. He's got a great run out. He's almost won the game single handedly. He walks out the Lords a different man on Sunday, oh, does he not? I think he feels like, you know, he, he deserves another crack after that because without that piece of action, he probably wouldn't be going to Lords. He'd be going home. Uh, <laughs> and so, therefore, will it change his fortunes? We don't know. He'll work hard in the meantime. Yep. I mean, you know, he's that kind of player. He's conscientious. Will it work for him at Lords? Who knows? The home of cricket on a big stage. But uh, it was uh, you just knew. I mean, I, you just had that gut feeling that Martin Guptill's part in the game wasn't over. Sure. Do you have a better option than Guptill who can be a little more consistent, reliable? Because just one run out doesn't assure him a place as an opening batsman no, when he's out of form? No, it doesn't. It yeah. doesn't on form. But then you factor in what we're going to play, all right? Okay. He's been to the World Cup before. He's played well in England conditions. You wouldn't bring a rookie in, would you, to Lords? Yeah. And you how's his record against Australia? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I'm saying Australia. Well, this Australia, man yesterday, Well, Smithy. his record against England's not too bad, Cambridge well. this wonderfully assessed conditions fantastically well. And well. you guys upstairs, all you guys upstairs are saying too slow, too oh, slow. Oh, you guys, don't paint too, me with Sanjay's brush. All the expert <laughs> batsmen, all those guys are saying too slow, too slow. They're batting New Zealand out of the game. India won't be threatened by this. Yeah. Williamson, Taylor, in the end, yep. pretty valuable. But this is one thing I got right for a change. I tweeted yesterday. <laughs> You know, <laughs> saying that, you know, they perhaps know better than us. Yeah. They've found the pitch to be excruciatingly slow. And while they were batting together, these are guys of class experience. Yeah. They realized that a big score was not needed. Chasing under pressure Knock on a slow game. pitch, not easy. And a little word with Kane Williamson just after the match finished. And I said, wow, you guys were the smartest of them all. And we are supposed to be cricket pundits. And he said we were aiming for 240. So, in the end, when you look at the New Zealand win, it's more about intelligence than everything else. Both of them deciding, don't aim too high, 240, pressure of World Cup semi-finals, slow pitch, we've got a good chance. Let's have a little look at the match summary before we leave you this evening. It's been an absolutely cracking game of cricket, played over two days. This is the summary. New Zealand mustering 2-3-9 for 8. Last night we weren't quite sure, is it enough? Shouldn't be. India all out for 2-2-1. It's the bowlers that win your World Cups. Matt Henry 3 for Mitch Santner 2, Trent Fall 2. Cracking day, cracking entertainment, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, all the social platform, hashtag CWC19. But from Manchester, over and out. Crowds are pouring in here. India confident, strong and ready for it. You should call me before I go. Because I got options. Don't think I don't. There's some good though. Bumrah has struck. You should call me. There's a million other people here tonight. Oh. You know I can have a good one if I like. Absolutely brilliant enough. Yeah, you ain't gonna learn to love me, there's no lie. Oh, yes. I can't stay on, stay on. The start is in what we're looking for. That's off the chart.